We will support the informal sectors, we will support our mothers who are selling at every corner. We will encourage them to just be organized properly and we are going to tell you what we are going to do together to make sure that we are organized and we are going to sell our things and nobody is going to do anything to us. These taxes and what, what they want to impose on us, we are going to face them heads on and we are not going to joke around. These people have become victims in the applications of the law when the enemies bend and destroy their goods. Today, we hear that they, are, they want to impose some funny taxes. So we are going to study what they want to impose and we are going to challenge it legally. And we are going to demonstrate and we are going to make sure that we are going to be present wherever we are. So these people particularly take action to say, there is a crisis, how do I feed myself? So they go and try and make ends meet. And we decide that we are going to bend them and we are going to destroy them. And all of us must stand still in the hope that we must just say, oh, it's the law. Apartheid was also law, but it was not just. We will never and we will never stop being on the side of the poor. We will never stop being on the side of our people. We will never be afraid to speak out on key issues that affect our society. So in terms of the way forward, given the current economic hardships in society, the constant oppression, we have resolved to organize the informal sector, the socially marginalized and economically staffed towards a practical economic vehicle aimed at practically building general, generational wealth as opposed to theorizing it. Our decision is to fight for the economic emancipation of the people of Namibia. And we locate the struggle of economic emancipation within the long resistance of our people to racist colonial, imperialist, political and economic and social domination. The establishment of the Black People Economic Emancipation Association is done with the sole purpose of consolidating black power towards the genuine and practical economic power. Those that wish to represent their towns should email us at info at bpea.com with their full names, contact details and towns from the 24th of September 2022 so that we can start with the induction process of committees so that we commence with this national protest. Perhaps when we speak about violations, we as Namibians should become serious and consider the human rights that are consequently or every day being broken by the Namibian government. It cannot be correct that we are protecting animals. Rhinos, we've got money for rhinos. Elephants, we've got money for that. Cheetahs, we've got money for that. But we don't have people who are alive, people who are breathing. They've built themselves nice house there at Heroes Acre. There is water, there's electricity. But people there in the informal settlements, they can't even provide water. They can't provide toilets. They can't provide electricity. So that is a violation if we have to speak about violation. So as far as we are concerned, we came here, we came to buy uh, tomatoes for me and my brother, uh, some onions there for our family, and the public also donated some onions for us, and the, the, the media also just happens to be so here, so I don't know what we are violating in terms of if we are violating anything, because we, am I not allowed to buy tomatoes anymore? 